Yep, you see they start glitching out really hardcore. Oh, there you go. We're, I think we're going to get a crash. Hey guys, what's up? Hollow Herald here. Uh, we're going to be doing another video today. We're going to be adding a video to the Breaking Reality series that we've started. You can probably check out one of the videos in the description. We did how big can holograms get, we did HoloLens versus Mirror. But today, we're actually going to be trying to break the HoloLens. Uh, break. We're going to try to crash the HoloLens. We're going to see what it takes to crash, and we're going to uh, see specifically how many holograms does it take to crash the holots. So I'm gonna get the clicker, I'm gonna open up holograms app, and I'm just gonna start laying them all around the room until we can crash this bad boy. Um, we did a take of this a couple days ago, and some things didn't go according to plan. So what happened, Eric? I don't wanna talk about it. But, uh, yeah, it should be an awesome take. We have live feed from Hollands. We're gonna be doing a time lapse, uh, and I'm just gonna. I'm also gonna have a clicker in my other hand. I'm gonna be uh, counting how many holograms we're putting down, so we can actually count the exact number of them. I don't think it'll be the number so much as the placement and how big they are, and me moving my head around. That normally affects it more than anything else. But um, yeah, it should be awesome. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we got the HoloLens on, we got everything, all the data hopefully sunk up. Uh, this is going to have a, there might be a couple jumps and it might get a little bit inconsistent because this can only record for 5 minutes, that can only record for 10 minutes, and hopefully I won't run out of memory on my computer recording that. And so hopefully it won't get too misjumbled, but we'll, we'll try to keep it consistent. Okay, so data real quick to keep everybody up to date. Uh, we're at 45% battery, that's not optimal, which is a little bit higher. Uh, and all the apps we've gone and we've factory restarted the HoloLens. So it's completely baseline. No bias, no anything else like that. Um, yeah, so all we have is the Holograms app. It is recording. I think recording will be the biggest detriment to it crashing because it slows it down quite a bit when it's recording. But uh, I guess it is a stress test. So we'll go ahead and try it out. So let's go ahead and open up Holograms. And let's put it on the wall. Let that load for a second. Grab my clicker. And here we go. I'm just gonna start clicking away. So we'll probably do a time lapse or something at this point, but yep. Okay, this is interesting. I guess I could talk about this for half a second. All right, interesting update. Um, we just only added like about four more holograms, which I could probably could take away because it looks like they're starting to disappear. It looks like it's doing a little bit. Res oh, they're coming back. They're all coming back slowly. Interesting. The resource management is being very interesting right now. We're losing a lot of holograms in some places. As I start to look around, holograms will disappear in other places. Very good resource management. I don't need what I'm not looking at necessarily uh, for this app and for how it's handling it. Uh, like you can see, I've got a lot right here and it's pretty clear, but as I start to move around, this I'm pretty sure will crash it. Let's see if I add another one. Still good, still good. Uh, it seemed to be handling better the first time we did this, to be honest. The holograms, as I look at them, uh, they look super low resolution, and they pop up in resolution. So you can see, as I'm putting them down, I'm not even going to count these ones I'm putting down, because as I put them down, it's getting rid of other ones. And it doesn't normally do that. Normally, it just keeps stacking them. I'm going to attempt to crash it now, so we might lose this footage that I've been using. So maybe we could just stop recording and hit start recording again. Okay, we're back. I think this, what I do right now, will probably crash it. So, one thing I've noticed is when you say, when you go to adjust things, when you go to adjust things, it adjusts everything in the room. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust one of these. <laughs> cool your jets, dude. If I can even click on it. So I clicked adjust, and now I'm just gonna start, I'm actually gonna use my hand for this. Yep, you see they start glitching out really hardcore. Oh, there you go, we're, I think we're gonna get a crash. Adjust. 
Here we go. This will probably crash it. If I can even select the right one. So we're losing, it seems like we're losing a lot of the holograms. She's doing, she's doing good. She's holding on. This is definitely not usable at this point. Oh, we're getting crashed, crash. There you go, it crashed. So it looks like we probably, hopefully, hey, it looks like we got that footage. It appears that, uh, the HoloLens handles lots of holograms really well, just stagnant, sitting there, everything really good. We got up to close to 100 holograms, about 85 holograms is where we maxed out at. Just where I just, it just, it, I would have just been able to keep placing them and it would have kept resource managing and getting rid of other ones. Um, what was interesting though, is that uh, when, I, when I would say adjust or when I would start adjusting them, uh, it would start, that was really freaking it out because it would adjust all of them, not just the single hologram I was looking at, and it would crash them. So as I started moving them around, it's a very interesting crash too, it kind of like warps the view, and everything kind of becomes 2D like normal, and then colors go everywhere, and it's just, and then, and then it's game over. So uh, I think it did a remarkable job handling this. This is way not in any normal use case. We're recording, which already takes a lot of resource management. It's very hot right now. The Hollands is very hot, just like any computer would be putting under high pressure. So I think she fared super well. I mean, you're not gonna be able to break this thing just using it daily. So uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, if you like a breaking reality idea, if you guys have any other ideas, if you wanna see a stress test any other apps, or if you want us to see a stress test it in any other ways besides smashing it, uh, go ahead and leave us a comment below and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.